The advent of music streaming services and Spotify specifically has birthed this new economy of tons of different music tracking tools. Now I'm sure we're all familiar with things like chart metric, vibrate and music stacks. Now, every single one of these tools to some degree, whether completely or just in part are all built on top of Spotify's API and their API is public facing. You can go to developer.spotify.com and you can explore the entire API panel. In fact, I have it pulled up here. You can just copy your artist URI, which I've done here, copy it, paste it, try it, and it will return all of this information about you as an artist. So it'll return images, my popularity score, It'll tell me my type, my artist, and I can look at all kinds of other stuff. Like I can get multiple artists. I can explore my albums. I can look at my top tracks. I can get my related artists. That's the uh, listeners also like portion inside of Spotify for artists. Now, the problem with most of these services that are out there is they all try to do everything. And when you only need them for one or two things, it can be tough to navigate them. And on top of that, because they try to do everything, a lot of them charge an arm and a leg for their services because they just assume that you want to track Instagram growth and Facebook growth and YouTube growth and Spotify growth and, and all the other things. And you want to contact radio stations and submit to festivals and submit to playlists and you want to contact managers and you want to upload your song. I don't want to do all that stuff. Most of those features are beyond what I have need for specifically as an artist. And my guess is the same is probably the case for you. Really the only thing that I am interested in learning about myself as an artist on a regular basis is what's available available inside of my Spotify for artists account and my popularity scores for myself as an artist and my top 10 tracks. And because most of these tools cost an arm or a leg or make it really difficult to find this simple information in one display, I decided to make my own tool. It's called the Artist X-Ray. It's really simple. It's really basic. It is an inch wide and I wouldn't even say a mile deep. It's just a few feet deep, but it does one thing and one thing well. So if I come to the Artist X-Ray, I can just search for any artist on Spotify. So I'll search for myself because obviously we're going to do that. So here I am, Tom Dupree the third. When I click on my name, it will take me to my information as an artist. And it has everything that personally I want to see in a tool like this. So I've got my profile image, my name, how many followers I have, my popularity score as an artist, and I can even click this button and view myself as an artist on Spotify. In addition to that, I have my top 10 tracks in my catalog. So this is the exact same thing you would see if you click see more on my catalog. It's these top 10 songs. It's nothing fancy, but it does give me the popularity score of every single song in that list. So it's a quick heads up display. I can see Hero is at a popularity score of 35%, Lions is 27, so on and so forth. They're numbered one through 10, and I can click the button for every single track to listen to it if I want to. And literally that's it. This is something that I use on a daily basis for myself as an artist and for all of our clients with Dupree X. In fact, you'll notice the branding is pretty much identical to Dupree X. Don't think that was on purpose. <laughs> Now, if you want to navigate around this thing, you can click on the logo and go back to the home screen. You can click search for any artist on Spotify and go back to the home screen. And then at the bottom, you can click Dupree X on the bottom left, or you can click the X on the bottom right, and it will take you directly to the Dupree X website where you can read free articles, join our academy, or you can hire us to run your ads for you as an agency. So if you're like me and you don't need an expensive tool to do all the things, but you are interested in this one thing, then come and give the artist X-Ray a shot. It's just artistxray.com. Play with it. See if you like it. Let me know in the comments if you think that it could be improved. If you see something missing or you're like, ah, this feature could be cool to have without making it, you know, overly complex. Or you see like a user interface mistake or something else that you'd like to maybe see us build. Let me know in the comments of this video and we'll be happy to take a look at it. This is completely free to use and we're going to probably build more tools like this in the future. This is just the beginning. I just want to make a tool that I find useful and that I think that you'll find useful as well. And if there's a demand for other tools, maybe we'll dig into those too. Now at the end here, if you want to go a little bit deeper on my channel and learn something about how to market your music, then you can check out this video right here, which is whatever YouTube says it should be. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.